Hi guys, welcome back to Mark's RCPH. Today's a special episode because it's my birthday. Happy birthday, babe. Thank you. All right, so um, as you can see, the uh, I'm not in my house because since it's my birthday, my wife and I decided to spend, spend it here in Baguio. If you don't know uh, where Baguio is, it's uh, uh, in the northern part of the Philippines and it's very uh, uh, well known of its cold weather and their strawberries and basically it's the summer uh, capital of the Philippines so before we start let me show you uh, the view from our uh, balcony there you go this is this is the view uh, as you can see it's very uh, foggy and it's raining so I doubt if I could uh, fly tomorrow wish me luck <laughs> there you go so going back uh, so going back if there are uh, birthdays of course there are presents or there are gifts right so my 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 uh, lovely uh, and sweet and very supportive wife bought me a plane that we will be unboxing and build tonight all right so let me show you the plane it's the NXT Nemesis Racing it's uh, made by Rock Hobby it's uh, 100 uh, or 1,100 mm wingspan. Uh, specs would be the the motor is 3648 870 kV, and it comes with 70 amp ESC. It comes with four digital uh, uh, metal servos. And then two uh, regular servos. Prop size is 10 by 10, so it's a big prop for a 1,100 uh, mm wingspan. Recommended uh, battery size for this is a 4S 2,600 milliampere uh, uh, lipo, but I decided to uh, use. Uh, 3000 milliampere uh, battery or a lipo battery so this is a, a racing uh, plane I'm not sure if I can fly it but I'll try hope crossing my fingers I hope uh, there will be no crashes on the maiden flight so what's unique about this plane is it's uh, or what I like about this plane is it's a uh, it's glueless so for the wing all you need to do is just screw four uh, screws and for the vertical uh, or horizontal uh, stabilizers just one screw per, uh, per uh, side so let's open it and check what's inside <coughs> Huge box. <coughs> there you go. So comes with a manual. I'll check this out later. Comes with this are the screws, and this is the nut for the the propeller, and it comes with one push rod for the elevator. So these are just the goodies. <laughs> So 
So this is the wing. It's very gorgeous. This is the wing. This is the back part or the, the bottom part. It it's a uh, it has a uh, retracts and flaps for uh, landing and uh, slow uh, uh, flights. So there we go. The wing and. By the way, guys, it comes with, uh, it, instead of using a lot of Y connectors, it comes with a box that combines uh, the two uh, ailerons and two elevators as well as the two um, retracts. All you need to plug is the three servo leads. There you go. This is the prop. It's a 10 by 10 prop. It's a huge prop. This is the uh, carbon uh, uh, spar for the elevator. So it comes with two elevators. Just like this. This is the cone for the propeller. And lastly, the fuselage or the body. It's very gorgeous. There you go. So uh, let's start uh, building the plane. Let me grab a chair. Let's start with the uh, propeller. Okay, let's grab the goodies. I don't know what this is called. Uh, I guess it's a stopper or what this is the first time I'll be having this kind of plane so it goes like this it'll be uh, this these are the screws it comes with five screws four goes for or is for the or are for the wings and this one is for the cone okay next would be the elevator These are the two screws, small screws. It's not really, it doesn't want to go in, so. Let me check first. The, I think the screws are too uh, are too thick. For the hole. So. Yeah. The the screws are too thick, so I might break the the plastic. Let me just uh, screw this 
um, some other day. What I'll do is uh, I'll uh, drill uh, a bigger hole. If you can see here, the screw that comes with the kit is too thick for this hole. So I'll, uh, I, I'll make the hole uh, bigger, a little uh, bigger than the stock. So just for us to complete the build, I will, uh, I will uh, put the elevators without uh, the screws. It's uh, very tight, it's a tight fit. Here, you, uh, as I mentioned a while ago, it comes with uh, a push rod. It goes here and it's linked to the right elevator. There you go. It's very tight. Let's see if the other hole is bigger than the other side no it's not it's the same so like what i've said i'll uh, i'll just um make the hole bigger and i forgot to put this one By the way, I'll be using uh, a V8 R7 receiver for uh, this plane. the flaps channel 5 sorry that was for the gears channel 5 for the flaps it's uh, channel 6 and aileron is channel 1 then lastly is the throttle or the the one that came from the ESC is channel 3. There we go. So let's screw it. Let's screw the wings. So, my uh, previous uh, planes. Uh, you may need to glue certain parts like the like the elevator uh, sometimes the wings and the rudder but for this one if you will not be flying it for a couple of weeks you can just unscrew uh, both the elevator as well as the wing and you can just store it inside the box. Also, if you have a small car, 
like like me and you can just remove the wing and you can uh, save a lot of space so there last but not the least would be the push rod Almost done, guys. Bear with me. You put this one. You should have a uh, small fingers for. from the inside. Before we went here, I did set up the, the model already. So this is the, the battery. I'm using uh, Turnigy 3000 milliampere forest LiPo. It's just a 30 to 40 C discharge. So I hope this works. to be near the propeller <laughs> how cool is that These are still the these are still the 100 uh, weight or rate. Let me show you what's under the wing. So. That's the 50% or 45 uh, degree angle flaps. And this is the full flaps. How good is that? There we go. So let's see the power. Uh, I will hold it. I don't want to uh, hurt my wife. See how powerful it is. So there you go, guys. Uh, Okay, so guys, I'm done building the plane. 
presenting to you the NXT Nemesis Racer. So watch out for the, the maiden flight. Um, I will not push its limit because I am not sure yet if uh, I can handle its uh, speed. I'm also worried with uh, the takeoff and landing, especially the landing. But flying it, uh, I'm not really uh, uh, worried about it. I think I can handle the speed. The only thing that worries me is the landing, honestly. So I hope uh, I will not crash this plane. It's very gorgeous, as you can see. There you go. Thank you, Bev, for uh, your uh, present. You're welcome. Uh, hope to have more. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, guys. Uh, thank you for uh, watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed uh, to my channel, please click the subscribe button as well as the, the bell button for you to be notified if there are new videos. Watch out for the maiden flight. Hope you like the video. See you again soon, guys. Thank you. Bye.